Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to draw this pretty lady. Uh, you're going to need a pencil and a pen and an eraser, but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. I am going to start this drawing with like an oval and I'm drawing in pencil very, very gently. I don't want to press too hard because then it'll be hard to erase the pencil later because we're drawing in ink, erase the pencil then people won't know how you planned it so well. So uh, I'm going to now draw a line down the middle, just so we know where we are. And then I'm going to draw a line across the middle. This is very roughly working out, and a little bit about there. Mm, roughly about halfway down there, which is like a quarter, and roughly half again there. Now this is where the eye line is going to be, and this is the hairline. So what I want to do is this line is going to come pretty much straight out like that and then down in a curve to the eye line about there and then it's going to come sweeping around like that and then we're going and we're going to want something similar on this side that's going to go up a little bit and sort of curl around and then come into the eye line like that and then it's going to come out in a similar kind of curve to that there and then this is going to go up and sort of join in there and that's going to be coming across there and we're, but again we're going to want to have this it's kind of like it's going to be like a, the tail end of a snake getting thinner and thinner and thinner i would take the crown of the head a little bit higher about there and that will come out in a kind of an m shape and then this is going to come pretty much straight down like that and straight down there maybe a little bit further out and then this can maybe come out a bit more of a curve we're going to want a neck in there and the shoulders will be roughly about there so that's just to give us a very general idea of what's going on if you need a help sheet come and support me on patreon i'm actually going to start with the hair which is going to frame the face and i'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw a curve going up and around and then all the way around and down like that. And then very close to it, I'm going to draw a little curve like that. And then these will just kind of get shorter and shorter and sort of fade into it. And then this will just drop straight down and it's going to be like the tail of a snake getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until flick they join each other at the end. And we've got a similar thing going on here so that's going to come all the way down there like that. And if you flick it at the end you get a nice sort of sharp point <laughs> but then you can also get it all sort of messy and muddled up so we're just going to have those uh, little things like that and then this could be a bit thinner it could be a bit thicker there it's kind of hair does weird things and then this is going to be the parting up here so we want these curves coming up to the top there lots of little these little curves to give us the parting that will then come around and then maybe just kind of slightly curving out a little bit there and again, so we'll just leave that there for a moment, I think. Um, I'm going to bring another one around, kind of like that, I think. And that will sort of come in there, and then that will come around behind. And <laughs> let's do the, the chin. So the chin wants to come down there and then up. So that's nicely centered on the center line. Let's have a bit of a curve coming there and then this can kind of curl around like that from underneath. And again, we'll have one here, which is sort of curling in around the neck. And then here we're going to want to have some more hair curling in around there. So what I'm going to do here is split. You can see there's a kind of a curve there right in the middle. I'm going to draw another one like that. And then I'll split them again in half and in half again. It takes a bit of careful drawing and we can do something similar on this side. Except that's now going to 
curve around the other way and we want all of these to kind of curve around in that kind of <laughs> curve shape and then we'll sort of split them and go not quite so far down the line and then that will sort of add a bit of do the same again that adds a bit of kind of shade under there as well and then we can do something similar going on up there and in there so it's this kind of splitting in between gives that um, sort of feeling of the direction of the hair now let's put one in the middle like that going completely opposite direction we can do those little short ones in there and again let's do up there and there and then we'll split those there <laughs> and do some curves around the top and then here I think we can continue one of these lines down behind there like that and then these can sort of come curling in around there and again we can split them just to give that extra kind of shade going on there and maybe a bit in there and the odd line through there and we have got a framed face now here I'm going to just draw a little throat and a curve joining across there and that will be the ribbed sort of knitted uh, collar of a sweater or something like that. Now we can start on the face. So the eyes are going to be slightly hidden behind this sort of sort of fringe hanging down. The eyes are going to be slightly hidden behind this fringe that's sort of hanging down. So. I'm going to draw a curve like that and a curve like that so they finish mm, pretty much well it's not near the center of that line at all is it anyway see what happens and then we want another one which gets a little bit closer above it and that's the eyelid the top eyelid and then bring a little sort of curve under there a little curve there don't don't draw the whole eye, kind of leave a little to the imagination. Now the eyeball is round, but we don't see the whole of it because some of it is tucked up underneath the eyelid. So we're going to draw some really big eyes, but not a complete circle and try and make them as equal size as you can. And then again, also the pupils, we make those really big because that's part of <laughs> Part of attractiveness is really big dilated pupils. Um, and so that I think this one's actually slightly smaller, isn't it? But never mind. And then the eyelashes will curl up like that and they will get the angle will change and get more vertical. So it's an angle that way and then the angle it sort of curves and it gets shorter and shorter as we come around and we can put a little bit of eyelash down at the bottom there like that. Now the nose, we will just draw two brackets like that, either side of the line. And then we want to draw two nostrils like that. And that's all we need to do. And then for the mouth, I'm going to draw two little sort of markers on the side. So they're like sort of dimples, little smile dimples. And from here, we're going to go down and up and just a little flick down into the middle, down and up, a little flick into the middle. And then lips are really soft things that they don't have great hard lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of curve that up and a little flick at the top, curve it up, a little flick at the top so that we're not completely drawing a great big thick line at the top. And same at the bottom just a little curve and that's kind of like the shadow of the bottom lip there and I think we can maybe draw the shoulders in like that now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and if you didn't press too hard at the beginning they should be relatively easy to erase and then people will go how did you plan that out they won't they won't know <laughs> there we go. That's kind of one of the things with pen and ink drawing. Now, I'm going to give her a little bit of shadow underneath the neck here. So I'm going to kind of long lines, vertical, and then they get shorter and shorter and shorter. And then round here they get 
longer and longer and longer and longer on the other side. I'm going to shade her top lip. So I'm going to do these lines just sort of flicking up like that. So if they don't quite meet the top line, that is fine. And then here I'm going to just do these little almost dots. Uh, and this is a really, really tricky bit. I'm going to actually zoom right in. This is a tricky bit here. So I'm going to draw vertical lines into her eyeball here, just to give a little bit of shade. OK, so take your time doing that. And then that will just give a little bit of sort of... It's the eyelid shading the iris. And something's missing, so it's going to be the eyebrows. And you get an awful lot of expression with an eyebrow. So I'm just going to draw these quite serious eyebrows in there like that. Um, that's probably a bit too heavy. And and now I feel that I can just keep sort of adding bits here. But this is where it's so easy to just overdo it. And just keep sort of working the hair and sort of doing this splitting kind of thing to add sort of shade to it. Or what you can do, of course, also is, let's put some in there too. You can, of course, also put some shade in the hair like that by kind of doing something like that behind there and maybe into there too, and that would be shaded. And we'll have some shade in there and that can just kind of fade out and I think maybe we could put some shade in there as well <laughs> and once you start shading then you can't stop you have to just keep adding and adding and adding I'm going to want to put some shading in there now but I don't think I really needed to now I'm going to try one last thing and see what happens so I'm going to put some shading in here as well too and then we can just sort of bring that in like that just to add a bit of shading up. It's kind of where you have sort of eyeshadow, really, isn't it? Eyeshadow. There we are. It has it in the name. So there we go. Thanks for watching. And click down there and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.